how accurate would you say was your experience filming to what was then aired on TV? Uh, we just didn't get much airtime. So, you know, the things that did happen, they happened. Um, they were definitely missing a lot of context. So we probably had 10% of, of our story shown and the bits that were shown painted a really positive picture of we oh, have a really strong connection and we're getting along really well. And yeah, the reality was I struggled from day one and and the experts were, you know, good in the sense that they gave us some awesome tips and advice. Um, I feel bad for Michael because his whole personality was kind of cut from like he was, he was very vocal at the dinner parties and he did get into a few confrontations with people, but that's all kind of been stripped away. And so yeah, I think that they they did paint a, a picture of a very nice gay couple, but that's not the reality of what we had. I feel like they definitely tried to make the storyline around what had happened to Michael at the start of the season. Like everything that was shown or what the experts said to you guys was just, thank you so much for being a part of this. Sorry for what happened. And you're right. We didn't really get yeah. to see much of you two as a couple outside of the drama of what happened even before you guys even met. Look, we, we didn't really have a storyline. Um, <laughs> I'm a very like chilled back person i didn't really get involved in any of the drama i don't like any of that and when michael and i would have confrontations we would very calmly sit down and talk it through um so like it doesn't really lead to good tv <laughs> <laughs> um, so i think yeah that that was probably a huge reason as to why they needed something to focus on but in turn they, they really did they really did focus on that aspect of it even while we were filming so you know, to to show like it was a huge deal for me. Um, it was it was a big deal, but it was also made to be a huge deal. You know, every couch session it was brought up, um, and I did feel the extra pressure that you know Michael had been left prior to me coming to the show. So I felt like I didn't get to just go and experiment as like two new people coming into it like totally blind and get to navigate our relationship ourselves it was a well michael's like had a low blow so you've got a bar you need to meet you need to you know like he's already been kicked don't kick him again oh well that's kind of a a pretty hard position to step into yeah that is hard is that why you guys ended up on retreat week because obviously things kind of blew up by the looks of it on tv anyway and then all of a sudden you guys are like we'll go on retreat anyway was that your choice was that the producer's choice what happened there yeah no definitely definitely wasn't my choice um i after the hairdresser it was a it was a day off filming so it's it's really complicated when there's not cameras there because everything kind of tries to get paused but a lot happens off camera so the day itself we had had multiple conversations about the hairdresser and they were really calm and they were really productive but then we had to wait a few hours for a camera crew to arrive and kind of to recreate what had happened. And I think I was so taken back because the recreation of what had happened was so much more heightened than the reality. I mean, by that point, it was, you know, seven, eight o'clock at night. We were so calm. We were so done with it. I'd kind of said to Michael, like, I'm done. I'm leaving the experiment. I'm really sorry. And then it was all kind of fired up and, you know, made into this massive fight that we hadn't had all day. Um, and then, yeah, I kind of once once we had our conversation, I said to the producers, like, I'm finished. Like, can we go? They're like, you can't. Unfortunately, like, it just it won't make sense to the the viewers at home. You've got to you've got to stay to the commitment ceremony, and you know, you've got to see it out. So that's why we we ended up going on retreat. Um, and yeah, I think. Yeah, you know, I got pulled aside and I was told, like, you can't use language like you're done or, you know, you've got to kind of play to the characters. Um, so that was really hard. Retreat was really hard because, you know, I think when you've tapped out of something in the real world, you leave, right? Like you, you don't stick around and fake it. But, yeah, I suppose in the maths world, you've not got that luxury. Yeah, that's so weird wow. to think about. It's almost like you have to put your acting hat on a little bit i guess yeah and i'm I'm such a bad actor (laughs) (laughs) you mentioned before that michael had 
caused a bit of drama or spoken up at the dinner parties, which we didn't see, do you think he maybe spoke up more in the recreation of the fight to make it more of a TV moment or he was playing up for the cameras? Uh, you know, I don't want to throw Michael under the bus. He definitely did want airtime and he, he didn't get much of that. Um, but at the same time, the producers are very good at their job and they do take your side and they do kind of talk to you. And when I kind of, after we blew up and had that conversation on the couch and it was a lot more heated and he was very theatrical with throwing his ring down and he wore his like top that, that had a meme on it that he wanted to wear. I kind of pulled him aside and I was like, why? I don't understand why you did that. Like you, you, we've got so much respect for each other. I thought that. And we, we've been so calm about it all day. I don't know why it was such a big thing. And he was saying that the producers really hyped him up. He was like, I was really calm about it. And then when I started talking to the producers in my boxes, they got me really angry. Um, so he kind of came in guns blazing, which makes sense. I mean, you know, you can't, you've got to take accountability. And he did decide to kind of put his top on and, and make it a big thing. But um yeah, it's it's a very it's a pressure cooker we're in. So yeah, no hard feelings with any of that.